Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and I'm back with another video for the new Boston. Now, in the previous video, we looked at um, sending email using PHP mail function. Now, if you haven't already watched that video, I recommend you go back and watch it before you watch this, as this video is going to deal uh, with submitting a contact form. So, for example, you've seen websites where you have a contact us page. Um, and you fill in your information and uh, you click the submit button. Now this then sends, um, well it could do, I mean, we could be storing values in a database, but for now we're gonna be dealing with sending an email address, uh, sending the message to a specific email address, um, and uh, that's how we're going to receive it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create our form. So let's go ahead and say form action equals something and method equals something and then we end with form. So the form action is going to be index.php. So we're gonna be submitting back to the same page. Um, this is gonna submit it in post data. So we're gonna submit a large amount of data that we don't want to be shown in the URL bar. So we use the post method to send the data in our form. So let's go ahead and set up the form before we uh, start uh, processing our script or inside PHP. So. Um, the first field I'm going to create is uh, name, and um, oops, sorry, uh, and I'm going to break down after this, and I'm going to say input type is text because we're taking a text value for the name, and the name of this is uh, contact name. Okay, now we're going to break down um, a couple of times, and uh, we're going to say uh, email address and we're going to break and we're going to say input type equals uh, text again name equals contact email now, I'm not going to specify things like telephone fields uh, this is up to you to Im input for yourself uh, but the next thing I'm going to do is message so uh, this is we're just going to be passing three fields through PHP uh, that are going to be sent um, to our email address so now message, um, uh, we're gonna put a text area. So uh, a text area is just a, t a large text area that can be typed in, so text area. Um, I'm gonna give this a name of uh, contact text, and, um, and we're gonna set the rows equal to something and the cols equal to something there, so the columns. So we've got six here and say 30 here. That should give us a large enough space uh, to submit our data. So we're gonna go on the uh, presumption that all of our fields are required by this uh, contact form. So obviously you can chop and change and within PHP we can make the relevant checks. But uh, for now I'm gonna do a couple of breaks down and I'm gonna create our submit button. So it's a type submit and the value is going to be send. So let's go ahead and save this page and uh, we can preview this in our um, in our uh, browser, so I'm going to refresh the page. So you can see we've got a pretty standard looking um, looking contact form. Now it's obviously up to you to change the design of this. You can obviously implement CSS if you know how. Um, pop this into your own design. So uh, for now, I'm just uh, starting with the most basic um, basic layout. So we can type information into here, and what we want to do is we want to um, we want to uh, enter uh, different email addresses uh, and our messages, um, and we're gonna test out, well, we're gonna fill in all fields first of all. This is what we need to make sure will happen. So uh, let's go over to, um, back to our file and edit this. Okay, so inside PHP, when this is submitted, the first thing that we want to do is we want to check to see if the form's been submitted. So we need to check that each element um, is set. So we use the is set construct and we say is set dollar underscore post because remember we're submitting these variables using the post variable, so we or post method, so we pick them up by dollar underscore post. Uh, and then inside here we need to specify the first uh, variable that we're passing, and this is contact name. Then we need to say and, so we apply the and operator. So we're saying if the contact name is set and dollar underscore on oh no, sorry and is set dollar underscore post and uh, we need to now specify the next uh, field that we're uh, submitting and that's contact email 
Uh, just um, a word of warning before I continue, we're not actually going to be dealing with email validation. Uh, and the reason for this is it's a lot too, uh, it's too big and too unnecessary for this tutorial. So there will be another tutorial um, in uh, on my tutorials for the new Boston that will deal with email validation. So go over and have a look at that and uh, you'll be able to apply this to your, uh, your uh, contact form. 